Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. In this video, I just wanted to quickly show you guys the new T-Rex Miner 0.25.12. And it has enabled, I would say, a pretty decent chunk of hash rate on all of my LHR cards in terms of mining Ethereum, that is. So, for example, my RTX 3060s, I, I literally just got it started about seven minutes ago as of starting this. They are at a LHR unlock of 79.1. Around there, they've, they're, so they're all different, 78.8, 79.0. But most of them, you can see here, I'm getting 38 to 39 mega hash on these 3060s. These are LHR V2s. And here are the overclocks that I'm using uh, in HiveOS. Okay, so this demonstration, I'm doing it in HiveOS. I'm sure in Windows, if you were to use these, if you had 3060s V2s in Windows, you would just minus uh, divide the memory in half. So it'd be 1300 uh, in Windows. And then 1575 would probably still work but these are my settings that I'm using in Hive OS and it looks like yeah normally I was getting about 35 to 36 mega hash now I'm getting 38 39 now I have my 3060 Ti rig here which I'll show you guys real quick I'm getting 48 mega hash with 1500 core 2200 memory or would be would be about 1100 in Windows and you can see here yeah this yeah, I used to get about 45 or 46 mega hash before and now I'm getting 48, 49, close to 49. And then now my 3070 Ti rig, I was getting like around 60 mega hash. Now I'm getting 61, 62 sometimes. I'm using 975 core, 2000 memory, uh, using the latest T-Rex miner. And then my, I have, uh, this is just a mix match rig of 3060s and 3070 Ti. Yeah, these are my settings here. As you guys can see, feel free to pause the video. Look at the overclock settings I did on my 3070 Ti's, 3060 Ti, and 3060s. Now, I wish I could show you my 3080 Ti, but that rig is on Windows, and I don't have remote access to that rig right now. So I've seen a lot of other YouTubers that did the 3080 Ti already, and uh, they're able to get, I think, up to 92 to 95 to, uh, like, some, some people got 100 mega hash on 3080 Ti, which is amazing. So it's great that T-Rex Miner has done this update here so two days ago as a recording for me uh, they said here improve the lhr unlock functionality uh, they said dual mode and auto lycos lhr performance is unchanged expect 78 to 79 performance in normal mode so that's what we are achieving right now uh specifically with my 3060s which is looks like it's doing pretty good yeah really good that's awesome that's awesome i mean of course, it's not as good as the LHR uh, 3060 V1s where you can do the developer driver, right? 470.05 in Windows where you can get 50 mega hash, right? No nothing beats that, right? Nothing beats that efficiency. But hey, that I'm using HiveOS with my 3060 V2s. This is great, right? Eking out a little bit more hash rate here as well as my 3060 Ti's, 3070 Ti's. But going along, I just want to keep reading down here what T-Rex added here. Change default value. Uh, dash dash LHR dash auto tune mode parameter down used to be full. Okay, so I don't, I don't know. I have never had I never had to use these parameters. Um, auto tune mode. Uh, it's just been automatic for me in Hive OS. I haven't had to add any batch file commands. But uh, going down here, bug fixes. Linux memory temperature is not displayed on some GDDR6 X cards. Uh, they have note here. Make sure you remove any dash dash LHR tune settings. Uh, you may have in your existing configuration the miner will calibrate the unlocker and hash rate should go up to its normal level in about a minute after the miner displays calibration finished message yes i've been i have been seeing that in the t-rex miner in the beginning it 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 tuned pretty fast i would say except that i would see i do see a 34 mega hash one here so probably this card is still tuning but it's cool it's been pretty good for all of my cards pretty fast then recommended drivers, Linux 470.xx or newer, and I am using 470.86. And that seems to be pretty good on all of my cards uh, for now. I haven't tested any other ones, but you guys can let me know. Windows have to be using 512.xx, although 472.xx also works fine as well. All right, so that's for my Windows users. A few tips, if you experience frequent LHR locks, make sure you don't have monitors connected to your LHR cards or at least turn them off during the minor startup to let the calibrate correctly. Avoid using RDP 
if it puts load on your LHR cards. Ah, okay. Uh, for those that are going to be... RDP is Remote Desktop uh, Protocol for those that are using Windows. So, yeah, I, I found that the case be the case for back then. It would drop the hash rate when you RDP in sometimes. Next one here. Do not delay applying the overclock. This will mess up calibration results and the miner will display unrealistically high LHR tune values. All right. So, yeah, don't, don't do a delay like some people do that in the uh, overclocks in Hive OS. So, here you can do delay in seconds before applying the overclock some people do 30 seconds I, i've had to do that with my a2000s but those aren't lhr so yeah don't do that with um uh with your lhr cards for t-rex miner try reducing the memory overclock of the gpu that frequently trips lhr ah okay so that would be the case maybe for oh looks like that gpu went back up 38 mega hash okay so i don't know if i had that one that said 34 mega hash Oh, yeah, we got one that says 32.21 mega hash here. So it looks like maybe that one tripped. So maybe I do need to GPU number eight. I will need to drop down here uh, in, uh, let's say, overclock. I, maybe we'll do it by uh, basis points, like 25 points or so. And just see if it stays stable. Yeah, you can see that 28 mega hash there. I think that's what they're talking about that try to reduce the memory overclock if the gpu frequently frequently trips the lhr so that's pretty cool so that's a good troubleshooting method uh, if you guys run into any trouble of where your gpus go down in mega hash and power sometimes so that's uh that's a pretty good otherwise yeah it looks like gpu one i need to do that as well let's do let's do 1575 instead of 2600 and uh yeah that should yeah these other ones oh number one is also zero is also doing that as well. well let's just see what that does but yeah anyways guys yeah let me know what you guys think of um this is pretty awesome and uh i'm sure everyone else's 3080 ti's even lhr 3080s right and lhr 3070s which i don't have a demonstration here to show you guys but I'm sure everyone is getting across the board more mega hash and relatively the same power consumption as they were getting before. I would say my 3070 TIs, yeah, they've been around the same. My 3060 TIs have, I think they've gone up. They've definitely gone up in uh, power consumption. My 3060s, I'd have to say, are, they've stayed the same around there in terms of power consumption as well, so... Yeah, this is this is this is good. This is good, and uh, it's good that uh, Hive OS has updated this pretty quick, and I'm sure Simple Mining has as well. And this is all this is all really good stuff. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts, and uh, let me know what your settings are for you guys. And so, if anyone stumbles upon this video, wants to see overclocks for different GPU numbers, put it down below. And I know that you know I forgot to put the disclaimer, but as we all have different GPUs, you know, Silicon Lottery, right? There's different GPU brands out there. Um, your overclocks and uh, your cooling and everything will play the part. So everyone may have different results. So take my numbers here with a grain of salt and anyone else's that they put in the comments below as uh, everyone has different cards, different temperatures, ambient cooling, and, uh, you know, Silicon Lottery everyone's going to yield different results on their cards but these are i would say general numbers that everyone can use and just see if you guys will get higher hash rate now on your lhr cards if you are in hive os and like i said if you're in windows you just divide that into two and you'll be fine all right my friends that's it thank you guys for watching have a good one and peace out oh it looks like that's stable now right when we drop the overclock 25 points yeah looks like that's good oh, gpu8 did drop 37 Maybe I need to drop that a little bit more. Let's do 2550. See how that see how that performs. The rest of them though. Oh, wait, GPU 11, 32 mega hash. Uh, all right. That one's not doing too well. Let's just do 2550. Yeah. If it seems like it's it's tripping. They're tripping. Not bits be tripping, but they're tripping. 39, 38, 38, 39, 38, 39, 38, 39, 38, 37, 38, 38, 28. Yes. Okay. I, I just changed that. So that's going to, that's going to take a bit. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Have a good one and peace out.